Hello YouTube, it's the Rabbit Canadian YouTube channel again. Don't be scared of the frizzy haired guy on the screen. It is winter in Halifax, Nova Scotia, and it's cold. So, today we're going to be scrapping out a Sony DVD CD player, uh, model number DVP NS64P. So, and I'd like to state right off the bat that uh, scrapping is the lowest form of getting money back from items if it works, sell it on eBay, things like that. This is just a, kind of a how-to and it doesn't have a remote so I'm just going to scrap it out. So first of all we're going to take a look at this and I've already removed the screws so let's get started. Okay so what we see here today is the DVD player. We got in the back there were three screws you had to remove and one over here and one on each side which I've already done okay so take off this first of all what you're going to want to do is check to see what it is the best way to do that is with a handy dandy magnet That is light iron. You can throw that in your light iron pile. Okay, so we got a look inside the DVD player. Okay, some things that we want to take a look at. I'll show you this a little bit closer later. You have some IC chips. They usually have gold, silver, things like that. We've got your copper bearing stuff on the power board. And so let's get started on removing this stuff. So we got your handy dandy screwdriver. Okay. Screw. It's usually easiest to remove all the screws at once and have to hide the screws on you. Sometimes these are brass, the lens connectors, I'm not sure if these are or not. Done it. Probably. And the end piece is probably steel like the casing. It is. Okay, so first board out. Sometimes the screws can be a little awkward. And I shouldn't be using any screwdrivers for this because they tend to have already ruined one of the bit heads on it. My set, which quite handy though. This is just plastic so that I can be sent off to for recycling. Motherboard free. 
We'll take a closer look at it in a minute. And one little bad name jam it hiding. And it's free. There's not a whole lot. Okay, so we got the power board. We got, like I said, a little bit of copper spooling there, a little mini transformer, some more copper spooling there. This board is what they call, again, low grade board. Low grade board. Here is, I'm guessing, the controller board for the DVD CD player. We got IC chip, IC chip, IC chip. Those usually contain gold or silver. We got a little crystal oscillator there that only contains silver or a little bit of gold. Uh, looks like these pins are just steel. And that looks to be about it on this board. So nothing really spectacular. Okay, and a lot of times these switches here will have little pins inside of it. Oh, sorry, not pins, little silver tabs. Or at least silver plated tabs. Uh, this may have a copper spool in it. And yeah, nothing else really jumps out at me. So let's get this out of the way and get down to the DVD player. See what we can get out of this. Okay, looking at this already, we have two motors. They're usually uh, copper bearing motors. A little circuit board there. And the reed head in there somewhere. Uh, let's see if we can take this part of it. Okay. Got a little piece of ribbon cable. I don't know how well you can see this. It is Possibly silver tinned or plated, I guess. Uh, could be tin or some other metal that is useless to us. But on the case that it may be silver, and we'll be keeping that and I'll process that at a later date. We got some cord here. You just throw that, clip the ends into your copper pile insulated wire another ribbon cable with silver looking ends at least looks like just tabs and on the ground holding this board into place so One downside to these. Okay. See if there's anything interesting on there. Looks like a little switchy type thing here. There might be silver tabs in there, but I doubt it. Uh, Yes, we've got absolutely nothing on there. Okay, let's see if we can get this motor out of here. OK, 
Okay, a little copper bearing motor. You can throw those into your copper bearing motor part the motor pile. Let me get this out of. Not really necessary though. And we got another little magnet in there. I'm guessing it's Yep. Okay. So I'll set that aside, see if I can't remove the magnet off of it. This is now all plastic. So you can chuck that in your plastic pile to get it recycled. More plastic. Okay, throw it in with your insulated cords. Okay, so we get this in this cord out of here. Get this copper bearing motor. Not exactly what I was going for, but that works too. I can clean that up later. Okay, see you guys, probably don't want to watch that. Okay, so now we're getting to the laser reed head on there. Sometimes you can find some pretty good magnets in there as well and maybe a little bit of gold so let's see if we can get that out of there steel or something Another copper bearing motor. Let's just Tiny little screw in there. Get that later. Okay, we got a little spring in there, but now we don't. Plastic, go in the plastic pile. Any more little screws? And yes, we do. Let's see if we can pop that out of there. There are our itty bitty magnets on the side. Copper coil. Okay, on this slow bar, do you have? Looks like diode, probably. And my camera sucks too bad. And a couple MRCCs or monolithic ceramic capacitors. I'm not sure which. I suppose that's something I should find out, though. And it is being difficult. Okay, well, for me, these are I can't hold them on the same hand because they kind of jump together. Rare earth neodymium magnets, or however you want to say that. Neodymium or something like that. Got two of them. I got to this size downstairs. I'm going to be using them for a project later on. Okay, so that it is it for the scrapping of 
the Sony DVD player. If you have any questions, comments, please feel free to comment below, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and like and do whatever you YouTubers do. If you, and again, thank you for watching my video, and have a great day.